Hey hi, welcome to the part 2 of this video of wind energy. So in the part 1 we saw what was the tip speed ratio. So yes, now we know that tip speed ratio is nothing but the velocity at which the element of the blade is traveling it could be any element tip speed ratio will change according to the distance it is from the center of rotation but anyways for now just consider an element say for example we have a blade here I'll draw a blade right so say for example we have a blade oh sorry we have a blade oh. say for example we have a blade here and what we are discussing about is tip of the blade so this element right here so when we speak about tip speed ratio just consider this tip and the linear velocity at which this tip travels is nothing but radius times omega which is the angular velocity of the rotor so now now we know that this is the linear velocity and this guy right here is the velocity of wind which is random it will change right so what will happen if the wind velocity changes so let's analyze the velocity triangle now imagine now let's draw this properly this is the relative wind velocity this is the velocity which the blade element is going to experience and the angle is the angle which it makes with these vectors and we name it as phi which we call as angle of inclination so what we do is uh, let's get this proper so let's draw uh, let's remove this first and let's draw a line here so let's remove everything and let's draw a relative velocity line so this guy right here is the relative velocity and we denote it by phi right so now you know this is the relative velocity so let's write it there mm. This is nothing but velocity which is relative right right now what's going to happen is just imagine this is the rotor plane this is the rotor plane compare the figure on right hand side and left hand side this is the rotor plane I'll draw it this plane is the rotor plane you can see our rotor right here this ellipse this is the rotor plane so if this is the no rotor plane naturally there is a wind which is attacking the rotor plane which is the velocity of wind perpendicular to the rotor plane but what we are interested is the angle which our relative wind is making with the blade of the wind turbine so where is the blade blade is let's draw the blade now this is our blade and we are only considering this step so this step would be lying somewhere here technically it should have been 
on the rotor plane parallel but because we have given it a twist and we have given it a pitch it is lying right here where you can see right now we will get into it why we give the twist and how do we pitch and what is the logic behind it now I hope you understand that this element right here is experiencing a wind velocity which is this relative wind velocity and the angle at which the relative wind velocity is approaching is nothing the direction I'm sorry is nothing but this direction this is the direction of relative wind what we are interested is the angle which the relative wind is making with the blade that angle is very crucial and it is called as angle of attack now we need to know the angle of blade we need to know the the position of blade right so it's nothing but the chord of the blade so we'll draw the chord of the blade so this is the direction at which this is basically the chord direction at which the blade is placed right now so seeing this figure you can easily make out that the chord of the blade is making some angle along with respect to the relative velocity and that angle is nothing but this angle now this angle right here the angle this angle is very crucial this angle is called as angle of attack now let's see the significance now this angle is nothing but this angle angle of attack right so let us understand why is angle of attack so important angle of attack is very 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 important which is responsible to give the power to the wind turbine which is responsible to give the lift force to the wind turbine so let's now explore what exactly is the story behind this angle of attack and what should be the perfect angle of attack that we are looking out for and how is it possible to maintain this angle of attack the angle of attack should be maintained which we do it by pitching it we'll get get into it later but now let's analyze what's exactly angle of attack and how significant it is so to understand that concept we'll go to this document now carefully observe how angle of attack affects the coefficient of lift and coefficient of drag our intention is to have the best possible lift to drag ratio now what is this lift to drag ratio what is this lift what is drag 